Hello everyone, Kevzer012, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Ollie Dark Side Edition. Now, uh, you, uh, first I want to tell you, I don't know what this, uh, the quality of this is going to be and everything. Looks like it's so good, uh, so far it's good, um, using my girlfriend's camera, because I can't use my phone camera. Because it's uh, because the phone is actually gonna be used for parts of this review. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Anyways, I went to Best Buy yesterday and I found this little feller there. And I remember wanting to pick one of these up, uh, but I forgot about it for a long time and just happened to see them at Best Buy. Anyways, let's show you in the box what's in the box first and then I'll do a driving review so this is Ollie as you can see it's just a little device I don't know if you can tell or not but it's kinda of a little scratched up not too bad it's uh... it's a fun little device it's a RC so you remote control it it uh, you can off-road on road driving the house there's a couple little different features which I'll show you in a minute and uh, but anyways this is what comes in the box the what as you can see what's on it right now is the nubby tires this is for driving outside and uh, these hubs here that come on it now these are the turbo tires for dry these are indoor use a little bit more grip. You can take off the tires completely for doing just crazy studs, st uh, drifts inside. I never did that yet. These are the other hubs that come with it. I don't really to see the point of really putting these hubs on personally. I guess for looks. I think they might be more of an indoor hub. I'm not sure. I didn't look into it. And of course, it just gives you your little papers. And it says, I own you. I am the dark side. It's the, the basically the dark side edition. The only major difference, if you got to pick one of these up, you can actually go to ghostspiro.com. And you can get one of these. I actually found one in Best Buy. So check your Best Buy uh, or Future Shop, depending on where you live. I don't know how many Future Shops are actually are left. But you can probably find one of these. I get the dark side it, because it does come with the other set of tires and the other set of hubs. And it's black. The regular Ollie is white and uh, doesn't come with extra. Anyways, I kind of give you an idea now how the device works. You uh, charge it via USB. Actually, uh, I have the USB over here, I think, in my pile of stuff. It, well, it comes with a USB. And I just get the little picture of all these. Just a little short USB. But honestly, you can use any any micro USB that has this small little hookup on it will work. I have the I have the USB somewhere in my room. It's probably in this big pile mess over there. Just has a picture of all the on. Just take my word for it. Anyways you charge it for that. It takes around three hours. It when you plug it in it will uh, this light here will uh light up uh will lay up red when it's charging and it'll flash green anyways I'm gonna I will show you some of the features now when you buy Ollie I got to tell you one thing it works with a smartphone and that's why I was mentioning that's why I'm using a different camera and I'm uh, not actually using my smartphone I will actually show you the app I don't know any better way to record this they record a screen with a smartphone. I could probably use my screen recorder, but let's just see. So first off, 
you want to go and find your options. I own a Samsung Note 2. I don't know where your options for Bluetooth are. Mine are right there, uh, right here. You want to turn on your Bluetooth. And actually, before you do anything, I should actually should mention is you're going to want to go to your Play Store. And when you search, I don't know if you can see this well or not, you're going to want to search Ollie, O L L I E. It's not coming up because actually my on <laughs> internet's on, so I'm not on. So turn pop on your internet. But when you go and search Ollie, it should pop up this one right here. I don't know how well you can see it, but it says Ollie by Spiro. You don't want to click that. And it'll bring you to this page. Mine just says open because I have it there. But uh, just click that for install. And then you're going to want to install it. Now I have installed here. I'm going to actually shut off my internet because it's annoying me right now because of a bunch of freaking jerks freaking uh, in some notifications. Um, I said I have my Bluetooth still on, so you're going to want to go to it. Mine's actually saved on the screen here. This is the Ollie app. Click that. Give it a second for the load. Might load faster based on your computer. But uh, it gives you three options. There's drive. There's well, that's just help to show you. And then there's demo mode. Maybe I'll just show you demo mode really quickly, just to give you an idea of what it looks like when she's, he's moving. So I'm gonna actually. <clears throat> so let's hit demo. Just to give you an idea how it works. Now, once he's charged, it's going to say touch it to your device. So you're going to put next to your Ollie. If it works. My Bluetooth, I don't think it's the best. It's not wanting to work. He doesn't like my device right now. <laughs> Come on, you shithead. If I can get this to work, it'd be fantastic. But he's not wanting to work right now. It's noticing it. I don't know if it's my phone or the Bluetooth on my phone. It's supposed to load so much quicker. There we go. I'll say connecting. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to pick up. And then... I think he can actually pull away. Goes all crazy like that because mine is Dark Side Edition. I am the, the Dark Side. And then you watch, hit watch demo. This is the device, as you can see, it'll light up. I don't know how good it'll work on my carpet. This could be a bad example. Maybe it'll work in carpet yet. And then it'll spin around. That's what it looks like. I will show you an actual full driving. I'll actually show you a full driving thing. Uh, that's just. Anyways, enough of that. I'll actually show you more after. But that's kind of gives you a little. He does drifting tricks, whatnot. Later, uh, I can go to drive. I'll show you more options after. But I'm gonna exit it out, and uh, I'm just gonna turn this off for now, and go outside, and uh, we'll continue on from there. So uh, let's pick this up outside. All right, time for the driving review. Now I gotta just hit the drive thing. Set up against my device. It'll work for me. Hopefully. And get to work. Maybe I'll just get him fucking hooked up first and then. Yeah. Here we go. Now he's connecting. Then he's gonna scream at me like a motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I am the dark side. Okay, he's gonna. I think I gotta do that little. 
fucking little thing there. And he's ready to go. And you see this little circle here? You can move it around. And you can move. It's really hard to do this. At the same time. Fuck with of my face and shit too. Let's see if I can get get them going here. Actually you gotta rotate it down and blow up. Before you move faster than that, the right might not move properly because the wind doesn't move at all. Now, you notice he's, he is going a little slow, maybe he is, uh, I need the full war, gore. No, he's a little fast. Now, this is it. I'll show you the options later in, uh, when I get in the house, the, but there's different options. You set the mask and everything. You can also change the color and the lights on. You're not going to really see it here, but I'll show you it in the house. But you just, yeah, you push, there's a little circle here. You probably can't see it, but, and he moves. He's, as you can see. It's supposed to move 14 miles per hour now. I don't know how well you can see him here. Bring him back to us. You can do quite a bit, but it drives pretty good. It's like, the one problem is you have to face a certain way. You keep facing that way. Because the problem is... Get, he gets stuck pretty easy. They, if you will ever watch the video of this thing like going uh, on the, if you watch this thing going on the video, so let's see. Their little display video, if you watch them, as you can see, it's not really that it's hardcore or anything. And like, he struggle, he actually struggles to go over the rocks. Now, I, how much did I pay for this? I paid like 140 bucks, so you can't expect anything insane, you know, or anything like that. But I'll, I'll show you right now. He's not gonna. He's not gonna go in the grass here. He won't go in the grass. And a nice little. This is a nice little device. I can't really show you a lot more because I'm videotaping myself. But I actually pick him up. He doesn't like to be picked up. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can drive him out of the grass here. He's not gonna work out of the grass, is he? Little fucker. He's tough though. He's tough. I got man. Let's drive him off the curb. Keep him going. Try to bring him towards myself a little. This thing's tough though. Like you can drive him off curbs. Take him to skate park. Look, he does drive. You need to get some speed going on it first. But you know, it's a nice little device and for what I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna I'll give you a final verdict when I get in the house. I like to get uh, drive it around a little bit more than maybe take it to the skate park or something eventually. If I, my opinion changes, we'll see. But for now this is that's just to kinda show you the driving aspects of them. It's hard to see because it's a little small for the camera. And like I said, this is at the full speed. It says 40 miles per hour. It's not the most fast thing ever. It might be going slower also because wind may affect it too. But yeah, everyone, that's the driving portion of the Ollie. Now let's go in back into the house to do a final verdict.
Anyways, before I do the final verdict here, I was just going to show you this is the um, stunt mode. Let you do stuff like that, or let's see if we can get the other one to go. Doesn't want to work. <laughs> There's a. There's little stuff like that it does too. That's kind of cool. Like it'll do little hops and spins. Kind of cool. And I was going to show you the the other options here. Like you can name them. You can set the handling and everything. That's not really a big deal. Um, and then you can change colors. You can choose custom or. There's this one, which is dark side, code red, it'll be red and flashing, fireball, black magic, and then there's custom, so you get your little color wheel down here, actually I'll show you myself, you can change your color, so let's say I want a blue, I can also turn it up and down, I can turn it right off, or I can turn it up more, all the way, blah blah blah. And then I can also choose if it flashes and whatnot, and yeah, that's kind of just a, just a little couple little extra options that have it. Anyways, I'm going to uh, go and do a final verdict, so uh, yeah. I just want to show you that part. Alright, so this is my final verdict. What do I think about the Ollie? Is it worth your money? For 140 you get for what you pay for. This isn't going to be the most hardcore thing. The a couple little things like it lights up and you can get different tires and you can buy ramps for it. It's an okay little device. Would I recommend it? Eh. It's between yes and no. It depends. You're buying this, I just want to tell you, don't expect too much. Because it's a nice little device, but it's not like in the videos. They had the videos like for this, and they brag it up on their website and everything. And personally, it's nowhere it's like that. They were showing it driving off cliffs and driving through the desert and man, it's freaking cool. Now, that, now when they say about how tough it is, it does look like it's tough. It doesn't look like it can take a bit of wear and tear. There's a few scratches on it. You know, the trick mode, the trick mode is gimmicky. Not a complete fan of the trick mode. It's not like I'm going to use it a whole lot. Like, I accidentally turn my phone slightly to the right or left or whatever, the next thing is doing tricks and shit and annoys me. Another problem that I don't like with it is it's an Android device. Everything nowadays seems like it's relying on Android. Enough of that stuff. Give me a freaking remote control to control it with. Like any normal RC. None of this bullshit because I don't need the trick modes and everything. Well, actually, you can do the trick modes and everything with a remote. You can set up the colors and everything with a remote. So, give me a remote. Give me an option to use. Give me an option to use my Android for the extra, like, customizations, like the lights and stuff. But give me an actual remote. And the fact that you have to use that little circle means you have to adjust it every time that you want to use it. And every time you change your direction, you have to adjust it. It should have twin stick mode. So do I recommend it? Depends who you are. May or may, may or may not like it. For your money, it's okay. But it's up to you. I wouldn't totally recommend it. I think it's a nice little device. It's pretty cool. You know, whatever. Anyway, it's been Kevster 2 Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day.